you discover pay dirt, let me know. Why should I? What's on the wire? Professor Andrew Hartwell, the noted entomologist, is on the Mexican border chasing butterflies or something. So what? See, I got a story from him once. The love life of a bee. Oh, why did she swarm? <laughs> <laughs> Those scientific eggs are a screwy lot. Screwy is right. The honor of discovering a new bug is their idea of something important. Yeah, they'd fight and die for that. Hey, did he take his niece with him? Yeah. Swell kid. I only saw her once, but that was a day to put down in the diary. That crackpot ought to have a poke in the nose, dragging a sweet kid like that around over the desert. Lizards, rattlesnakes and everything. doing here? Well, can't you be sociable? It don't cost no more. Uncle Andrew discharged you. Why are you still hanging around? I got as much right as you and your uncle to camp in this old hacienda. I suppose you have, but that doesn't include the right to annoy me. What's the matter, Uncle Andrew? Is something wrong? Saddle your horse. You must ride to town with a letter. Well, can't you tell me what happened? Uh, do as I say, immediately. Must I write a thesis whenever I ask you to do something? Them horses ran away. How's fixing to cinch him up for you? I must go for the sheriff. Is something wrong? My uncle's been murdered. Oh, that's too bad. You take it easy. I'll go for the sheriff. I'd rather go myself. I'll take your horse. What's your hurry? It's a long ride in the heat of the day. Let go of my arm. Don't get in the lather. You can't stay in there forever, and when you do come out, 
I'll take you down off that high horse. Hey, Gus! What kind of tarantula juice you got on the bar? What? I'm seeing things already. What's your name, stranger? Larry O'Day. If that means anything to you. It don't, right this minute. Let me see your license. License? For what? What are you peddling, snake oil or horse liniment? Neither one. I'm peddling sunshine and joy, or trouble, whatever the customer wants. You better put a half hitch on that there lippy horn. Before you get unpopular, what's your business? I haven't any. I'm just a roving cowboy. Well, in that rig, you look more like a rambling rainbow. <laughs> I had a job with a dude ranch, and wearing this outfit was part of the job, and one reason why I quit. Just a minute, young fella. What was the other reason you quit? A fat lady who craved to be romantic. young fella. It's my duty to keep the peace in this town. Then why don't you do it? This town don't welcome wild mavericks. We run it according to law. And they'd have killed that fellow while you were cranking up your legal machinery. Don't you tell me how to do my duty. Someone should. Put in your horns and get back where you belong. <laughs> What started the Chinese war dance? Boss, I swear, I don't know. I went in their kitchen to see if I could earn a meal by washing dishes, and they chased me out. Hungry? <laughs> I'm so hungry I could eat a cow without bothering to take the hide off. This town can get along without both of you, Umbers. And we can get along without this town. That makes it a standoff. A friend of mine owns a ranch about 40 miles from here, down near the border. He'll give us both a job. Well, I'd like a job, but I don't know. I've never been a nursemaid to a cow. That's all right. We'll find something for you to do. So long, Sheriff. I'll drop you a line, let you know how we're getting along. What'd you say they call you? Lucky Smith. They call you lucky? Yeah. <laughs> I've got more luck than any two guys has ever got. And it's all bad. Well, don't let it throw you. You can't ride through the brush in those pants. Well, I'll make out all right. You wouldn't have a nickel's worth of skin left in your leg. Hmm? You wear these shafts. Why'd you haze that young fellow out of town? He's all right. Yeah, well, maybe he is, maybe he ain't. He's too free with his lip. <laughs> you look like an old cow hand from New Jersey. 
How did you know I was from Jersey? You'll be glad you've got him when we hit the chaparral. Huh? Come on, climb on. Well, I don't know whether I can get on this kind of a animal here. Now, take it easy. Ooh, take it easy. Take it easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, uh, uh, now don't go fast at first, will you? Take it easy. Doesn't look like anyone lives here. This will be a good place to camp for the night. It's kind of a spooky looking joint, ain't it? You're not afraid of a spook, are you, Lucky? Oh, no, no, but I just don't want to get palsy-walsy with one. I guess my constitution wasn't built to fit a horse. You'll get used to it. There's nothing like a good horse between your knees. Yeah, that's all right. If you can only get your knees together after the horse gets out. <laughs> Let's take a look at this place, Lucky. Where? No, no. Anyone that starts using me for target practice gets themselves an argument right then and there. I'm going to sneak in on that bushwhacker from behind. You draw his fire and keep his attention. You know, I, I don't want his attention. You'll be all right if you keep out of sight. Fire a shot now and then. I don't need to fire. You can hear my teeth rattle. Why, why, you're a girl. Yes, I am. Well, I'm sorry, miss, I... Well, what do you mean, beating up defenseless women? You're not so defenseless. One of those bullets just about nicked my ear. like a horse trumped on my neck. Did you see anyone? I thought I did, but whatever it was, disappeared like a ghost. Yeah, a plenty solid ghost. He squoze until my eyes popped out. This was around his neck. The strangler's cord. 
That's funny. Hey, what do you mean, funny? Jay, why did you take a pot shot at us? Oh, I was frightened. I thought you were the man I was trying to escape from. Who was that? Jim Barton, a cowboy that my uncle hired. Your uncle? Where is he? He... He was murdered. Sheriff, the first thing in the morning. You had better get some rest and don't be afraid. There's somebody in there. Give us a light. Dr. Von Kurtz. Yeah, Dr. Von Kurtz. Come for what is my own. Your uncle spied on me. He robbed me of my great discovery. Where is he? I'll tell him so his face. Uncle Andrew's dead. Murdered. Dead? Uh, murdered? Oh, him. Terrible. Who would murder him? And why? Suppose you tell us more about your quarrel with him. Is that your business? I'm making it my business. Dr. Von Kurtz is an entomologist. Oh, yeah? Where's your dummy? Not a ventriloquist. An entomologist. Entomologist. Oh. Huh? Ugh, such stupidity. An entomologist is a scientist. A man that collects bugs. Oh, that. <laughs> I've been one for years and thought nothing of it. Pardon me, Dr. Von Nertz. Not Nertz. Kurtz! Kurtz! You said he robbed you of a discovery. I guess you were plenty sore about it. That's foolish! Would I kill a man over a bug? That all depends upon how important it might be to you. What do you want? I'm sorry to intrude, but I have lost my way. I'm seeing your light. I... Where are you headed for? I have business with a man named Obed Young. I never heard of him. I know who he is. A horrible creature who has a hog ranch about a mile beyond here. I'm sure he's crazy. That is the man, gracious lady. I buy a pope from him. Please accept most profound gratitude. You go a long ways for your pork. Chinese are particular about pork. Young feeds his hogs as they're fed in China. So we buy from him. I take my humble departure. Good night. He strayed a long ways off his range. He has nothing to do with this matter. Miss Hartwell, I give you my heart, my deepest sympathy. I'll bet I will not be robbed of my discovery. I take what is mine own. You'll take nothing. You'll regret if you interfere in what is not your business. I'll take a chance on that. What is that? I don't know, but I've heard it before. Well, once is enough for me. I'm going to get out of here before I go nuts. I'm lucky he was back with the sheriff. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how grateful I am to you. Well, I didn't do anything, except knock you down. 
I deserved that for shooting at you. But I was horribly frightened. All alone and... and poor Uncle Andrew. Please don't worry. I'll be here as long as you need me. There's Obed Young, the pig man. Is that the hombre you think is loco? Yes, I've always been afraid of him. How come? Oh, he resented our camping in this deserted old house. He raised an awful commotion about it. Ranted about it being a monument sacred to the memory of somebody who died here. I can't remember exactly what it was all about. You'd better heed my warning, young woman. I told you that your presence here is abomination and ruin and disaster will fall upon you if you don't leave this place. Maybe you would lend ruin and disaster a helping hand. And you'd better heed my warning and get away from here, too. I thought I got rid of you. Hello, old Ed. Where are you bound for? To the border to get another load of soybeans. Well, that's the third load this week. Yep. But I ain't ever been able to train them hogs of mine to get along without eating. <laughs> it ain't never been done yet. <laughs> Not successful. <laughs> Wait around a spell before we leave. I need you wagon. I got the coroner with me. Where's the corpse? I'll take a look at the scene of the crime. I'll show you. Shorty, you stay with the horses. The rest of you come with me. Corpse? What corpse? Her uncle. Was murdered. Yeah, didn't I tell her that ruin and disaster would strike her down? Maybe you had inside information. I know the curse would be on them, but they wouldn't heed my warning. I see you made it all right. Yeah, that's a swell horse you got there, boss. Every time I fell off, he stood and waited for me. <laughs> He's a gentleman. I bet he didn't even laugh at you. No, nope, not a snicker. That pig man is not as loco as he makes out to be. Do you think that... I don't know, but I'm sure going to pay him a visit. There's the man I told you about, Jim Barton. Still on the warpath. Joe, go in there and help the coroner carry out the corpse. Howdy, Sheriff. Hello, Jim. What caliber is that there gun of yours, miss? 32. Let me see it. Been fired recent. She shot at me by mistake. If I want you to talk, I'll say so. Where was you when your uncle was shot? I was saddling my horse. Uncle Andrew was writing a letter he wanted me to mail. Where's the letter? I don't know. It disappeared. <laughs> Jim, you've been working around here. What do you know about this? I was out to the corral tending to the horses. See or hear anything unusual? Yes. I hear a shot and see her come tearing out of the house. When I tried to talk to her, she whipped me across the face with her quirt. Why, that's a lie. Don't do no good calling folks liars. 32s is mighty scarce around here. And Hartwell was shot by a 32. Fired, I reckon, from your gun. And I can easily find out for sure. Use your common sense, Sheriff. She's not a murderess. You'd better keep your nose out of... You attend to your own business. I've a good mind to arrest you for disturbing the peace. If you crave to see the peace really disturbed, 
Go ahead and arrest me. Oh, please don't get in trouble on my account. Well, he'll get in plenty of trouble if he tries to interfere with the law. I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. You go. Put the barrel down. He shoot. I'm looking for your boss. I want to buy a pig. Boss, no here. You go. Hollow. All right, Bill. Let him have it. Don't move, Umbre. Tangled yourself up in a curtain. No, no, there were ten guys standing right here. Well, they must have. Well, you won't want to wear a necktie again. Yeah, no fooling. Come on, Larry, let's get out of here. This place is driving me screwy. We can't do that. Why not? I'm not leaving here until I find out who murdered Professor Hartwell. No. Someone prowling around here. I'm going to find out who it is. No. What do you want to go looking for trouble for? I was sure I saw someone duck in here that night you were nearly strangled. But he disappeared. I can't figure out where he went to. That pig rancher has some reason for trying to keep folks away from this place. And this, in some way, ties in with that reason. Oh, that's a pretty little trinket. Where'd you get it? In a place where it had no business to be. Hey, what'd you do that for? I just want to see what'll happen. Stay here. What? You stay here alone? Take this and keep it open. Yeah. But supposing I should see something? Oh, I don't like this idea. We're trying to save a girl from being convicted of murder. Don't you want to help? Well, uh, well, well, certainly, of course.
My friend will help you escape. Trust him. Larry O'Day. Get easy. Let's be friends. I'm the one that got you out of jail. You... You helped me escape. Why, sure. Ain't that being friendly enough? I don't want your help. There's the sheriff. He's right anxious to see you. You'll take my help or hang for murder. young fella. Get out of my way. You stopped in the name of the law. What's the law got to do with me? Where have you got that Hartwell gal hid? What are you talking about? You arrested her. And someone helped her escape. What a fine mess you've made of things. You be careful how you talk. If you had any brains, you wouldn't have arrested her in the first place. Now she's worse off than ever. A fugitive. No telling what might happen to her.
Over there, quick. Come on. you now, but you stay around last see if you got that gal hid here. Well, right ahead and make yourself at home, Sheriff. I reckon you've done all the damage you can do today. Get busy. Search the place. I went to a lot of trouble getting you out of jail. And I think you ought to be right thankful. I know where we can find a padre to marry him. There is no profit in vain struggling. It would be wiser to spend these few moments in preparing your soul for the honor of joining your illustrious ancestors. When I walk in my garden, if a twig disturbs the harmony of my progress, I break it off and it dies. You are disturbing to the harmony of my business. Uh, 
Ling Toy. The worst of your journey is over. You will soon be at the home of your honorable bridegroom, a wealthy merchant who awaits eagerly his bride. See you. I'm convinced that you wasn't mixed up in that jailbreak. Climb down off your high horse, Sheriff, and let's work together. Huh? What do you mean, work together? I'm sure someone's got a secret hideout around here. My partner has disappeared. <laughs> I guess you would like to keep me here while that gal sneaks across the border, wouldn't you? Well, you got to think up a better than that. Hit little boys. We're going to swing down towards the border. You're not exactly welcome around here. I understand. I came to offer my apology to Miss Hartwell. In my great disappointment, I forgot to be a gentleman. To you, this means nothing. To a scientist, it means everything. Honor, glory, reward for months of labor. How can you understand what it would mean to present this discovery to a scientific world? to run away and got knocked off her horse. She was not grateful to the man who rescued her from prison. Grateful? Why, that little wild cat don't know the meaning of the word. Proceed with the utmost harmony. All right. I'll tell Young to stop by and smuggle the girl across the border.
You have no cause for alarm. But how did I get here? Oh, my servant found you unconscious. Oh, yes. I remember. I was thrown from my horse. I was trying to escape. Let your mind be at rest. All danger is past. They all seem to like you. But who are all these girls? They are soon to be brides. Brides? Many of my countrymen desire wives from China. But your law says, no. So, I smuggle them in. I'm a lawbreaker. You are in danger of law. If you wish, I could smuggle you safely out of the country as I smuggle them in. I can't bear the thought of going back to jail again. The escape is at hand. Bing! My servant will escort you. Thank you. Mike, where did you come from? Hey, roll it. Young, young is taking that girl across the border. Girl? What girl? Wait, Barbara, Miss Hartwell. He's going to deliver her to Barton. You stay here and watch this pair till I get back. Where's that gun I gave you? I don't know. They took it away from me. Well, here, take this one.
we better ride over there and see what that's all about. the law on you for this. Here's where ruin and disaster backfire. There's the cattle we're looking for. And old that wagon. Why, Larry, You're I... being tricked. They weren't helping you to escape. We have to go back and get lucky. Aiden the criminal to escape, eh, old Ed? Pete, take him in and lock him up. going to disturb your harmony. This letter absolutely... The sheriff is here. The sheriff? Hmm. I reckon I got you this time. Aiding a criminal to escape. Don't try any tricks. Step right in, folks. There's the cat that ate the canary. He murdered Professor Hardwell. What? Hmm? I found a letter that the professor wrote just before he was murdered. He says he found out about that racket of smuggling in Chinese picture brides. He threatened to kill him if he didn't keep his mouth shut. I found this letter right under the steps where Chan Lee had thrown it after he'd pulled the job. Well, I bet you'll find his fingerprints all over it. Poison, eh, Chan Lee? You're right. And why not? Hanging would be extremely unpleasant. You're under arrest for murder. Where's them there picture brides? You're in the back room. Joe, go fetch them gals in here. They gotta be deported back to China. I'm sorry, miss, for all the trouble I've caused you. It looks as though I've been a little bit hasty. Take them on into town, Joe. Where do you think you're going? No. Sheriff, can't I be deported too? I think I'd like it in China. I know I like it right here where I am. Mm -hmm. 